if I go past depletion, I can get to the threshold of inversion. Um, that's this case. Uh, actually, we said at the threshold of inversion, this is uh, XDT. That's the maximum depletion uh, width I'm going to get. Um, the charge distribution still looks the same. I haven't created an inversion layer yet, um, so I'm just modulating charge on my metal and charge in the space charge region. The capacitance of my space charge region will be given by that. And we know that um, at the threshold of, in of inversion, that's the maximum sp uh, space charge width that I'm going to get. That's what that, that capital T is there for. So if the denominator becomes the largest it's going to get, that means that my capacitance of the space charge region is at a minimum. So the total capacitance of this MOS capacitor is going to be at a minimum right at threshold voltage. Okay, So this is how to figure out what that capacitance will be. If I then bias the MOS capacitor further, so it goes into inversion. Now what I'm going to be doing is, when I change voltage, I'm going to be changing the charge on the metal. But I created that inversion layer. So I'm actually changing the amount of charge in the inversion layer. I'm not changing the, the space charge char amount of charge in the space charge region anymore, because I already said that that has reached a maximum width. So I'm changing the charge on the inversion layer. And so now I don't have to consider the capacitance of the space charge region anymore. I'm back to the case that I had in accumulation. So in inversion, my capacitance is now back to the oxide capacitance.